Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. It's Barb. Um, pardon me, I'm in the middle of trying to do my ADHD cleaning where I'm doing 100 things at once and not any one of them gets finished. But I realized while I was straightening up, I forgot a whole shit ton of Christmas gifts that I forgot to mention. So here's a shout out, part two, to what Barb got for Christmas this year. Um, start out with the fact that if you're new here, thank you for coming by. If you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. And as you can tell, I have my hair back up pineapples because it was getting in the way with my juicy lips over here with the stuff on them, the hydrating balm. So let's begin. My mom got me this. It's a 2004. I added the pen. It's just from my mechanics planner. She had got me the same one back in 2019 in green. Same print inside. The, the book has changed. So this is going to be kind of fun. There's also a pair of Muckluck boots, that um, ankle boots. I don't have them here to show you. I'll do a still and try and insert it if I can or um, something. Maybe I'll do a post-edit barb thing with that. Um, then my sister-in-law, she got me a bunch of food-related gifts, kid-related stuff, because, you know, she has my beautiful niece. So the first thing she gave me was a Seinfeld trivia game, because I'm from New York originally. Poor girl. She just doesn't realize I can't stand Seinfeld. I left New York for a reason. Oh, and by the way, with a second coat, you can see a difference. I just think I have to also curl my lashes first, too. So the, uh, the Velour Peptide Mascara tubing, I'm going to keep it. My sister was a hairdresser, so um, whenever she goes to refill her supplies, especially around the holidays, um, the hairdresser supply stuff always has things on sale. So she got me this, the Peppermint Vanilla Swirl Hemp's Body Moisturizer Holiday Edition with the little... So we're going to use this to fix the bell thing for my indoor outdoor cat. And of course, my two Chaos and Mayhem, Coda and Cooper. Uh, but Chaos and Mayhem, my mother gave me, and they work. They're looking. They're all in my shit. Because, of course they are. Because Mommy's talking to somebody, and it isn't to them. Yeah, I got my tea going. Uh, my mother-in-law also gave me these really cool gear foam slippers. She's like, I know you hate pink, but they're just they're so comfortable. I get these for myself every year, and there was a good deal, so I got you some, too. Mind you, my uncle and aunt at Thanksgiving gave me these really cool. They're like... Outdoor slippers. Like, you could wear them as a shoe if you had to. But I've been wearing them as slippers. They're sharp aligned, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, they're a little stinky, just from me wearing them every day now. So I'm going to have to probably wash them. Then my mother-in-law got me these really cool pants. Lounge pants with pockets. I can wear them outside. I can wear them inside. She knows, because she told me what my lightning bolt ones I used, I still have. That I usually wear these in the spring, because they're not like a sweat pant where they're lined. But they're so soft. You can wear them for pajama pants, you can wear them for not pajama pants. I'm very happy I got these. Then, the last thing she gave me was something she had found for me at Goodwill. Didn't know how to wrap. Had it in her car forever. I've even seen it before, but I don't care. Soup mugs in a stand. It's perfect. So I gotta cut them free and find a home for them. But for now, they're right there. And then I had gotten myself this uh, long black duster from Target. I tried to get just the XL, and I wanted a little loose. That size was sold out when it was at the sale price of 16 bucks. For a full price is 26, 28 dollars. So I was not paying full price. And I checked on Amazon for something similar, but they had didn't look right, and was also way more. I think it was like 38. They had some with lightning deals, but I was not, I was not sold. So this is a long cardigan. I could wear it to work. Does not have pockets. That's the only bad thing. But in lieu of wearing an actual suit jacket, some days you just want suit pants and a long sweater. This will work. Can you get off the counters where I never ask you to come up anyway? Now this box is empty. And all these bags are bagged. But, you think that's it? No, but wait, there's more. I'd like to start with a household gift that my husband and I got from one of his colleagues. I'm going to take these slippers apart so I can throw the bags away. And that is, somebody at work or one of the sales guys actually has their own apiary. They gave us a bottle. Which size is this? If I compare it to other sizes... So this is 16 ounces from the main. 
it's probably about the same 12 maybe 16 ounces of raw honey local my sister-in-law also loves to make things or find nice cool christmas because we tried to do like food gifts to keep it reasonable and it got a little misconstrued so she made these and she bottled them for herself for us and made the labels she's amazing and a hairdresser and a mom and works in her husband's electric business as the bookkeeper and the scheduler and the customer service agent and the tax preparer and all that shit. So this is the cranberry orange spice infused vinegar. And this is the sun-dried tomato and basil infused oil. Mind you, tomatoes and basil uh, that she grew herself. She didn't grow the oranges or anything, obviously, because we're in Connecticut. So yeah, in addition to also helping her two-year-old daughter handcraft um, stuff for us, like ornaments and things, she also got us family mugs with pictures from our trip with the kid and uh, just significant photos from all of us. And this one says Auntie Barb, Maine 2023 along with the monster fish I caught. I'm going to block out bait people's faces, other than mine, because, you know, they don't consent necessarily. So that is the giant pickerel I caught, 26 inches. 26 inches. First thing I caught other than perch and a sunfish in my entire life. So this, this we're going to use for work. My sister-in-law also nabbed us the 12 teas of Christmas, countdown to Christmas, the Christmas advent calendar of tea. I have one, and I love it, and my husband got one. So we have all different teas, and I can't wait to use these. Mind you, right now, this is perched, this, this camera setup is perched on a candle I bought for Christmas to give as a gift, but never did. And then a box of six cartons of uh, med traditional medicinals throat coat tea. So we got tea. And then the last thing she got me was this Utterly Nuts Body Butter Box. Bitty Butter Box. Oh, sorry, bitty butter, not body butter. These are flavored. These are edible, so they're not body butters. I thought they were body butters. They're food. These are different. They're uh, peanut butters. They are flavored peanut butters. How cute. There's a set of six of them. Let me take them all out and show you. And they came with two spoons. And the brand for them is utterlynuts.com. Um, so I think this is amazing. So we each got a personalized spoon. His says best uncle ever and has him and her fist bumping. And that's my cat knocking shit on the floor. I love you. Please stop. And this one is best aunt ever with hearts. See? So yeah, I'm going to put these out and wash them up and put them out. They're great for like iced tea or ice cream sundaes. And this is the size of the different peanut butters. Six little jars like this. So this flavor is called Mean One. And this is flavor profile, white chocolate base, green frosting, Andes, mint pieces, and sprinkles. And it's spoonable, so you can eat it with your spoon. The next flavor, these are all sealed. See, so it's fine. And they have nutritional information. This flavor is Melted Snowman. They have adorable labels. And it's white chocolate base, marshmallow fluff, pretzels, M&M candies, thick but spoonable. I don't like white chocolate and I can't stand marshmallows unless they're on fire. That's besides the point. And it is very warm in here. I'm wearing thermals and then my night clothes under there. So yeah, this one is Holiday Toffee. Now that's my story. I'm a toffee girl. Flavor profile, honey roasted base, that's me, Heath, toffee pieces, caramel bits, and spreadable. So this one is mine. And this one is called chocolate covered cherry. Another one is my flavor profile. White chocolate base, okay, we'll work on it. Cherry sauce, chocolate sauce, milk chocolate chips topped with a queen and cherry cordial. I bought myself a box of those. Those are my annual Christmas candy. It was my grandmother's Christmas candy. It's been my aunt's and my mom's Christmas candy. My mom only likes the dark chocolate ones. I like the milk chocolate ones better, but I'll eat both because like I love dark chocolate, but lately dark chocolate's been tasting weird. So I think it has to do with like the quality of how they're processing it. So yeah. So there's another barb. 
This one is called peppermint bark. This is going to be a me because he won't eat peppermint bark. He doesn't like it. This one is layered dark chocolate and white chocolate bases. Andy's peppermint pieces, spoonable and spreadable. And then the last one is gingerbread house. Again, a bark flavor. These are all Christmas flavors. This is great. White chocolate base, Biscoff cookies, and white frosting and spoonable. This is more him. So look, we got like three each. Isn't that great? She must. I wonder if you get to pick them in the assortment box or not, but this is just a great gift. I'm going to put them back in their little box, and I'm going to put them in our snack drawer or our baking area because I might try and make peanut butter cookies and put a dollop of these on top. That might be the way to do it. Always coming up with ideas. So I'm just going to put this to the side. 